Hey Bob, Terry Hashimoto here, co-founder of Y-Track. We've got the Y-Track pressure mat underneath the golf mat so that we have a good, flat, even surface. And today we're gonna to look at how we can use pressure mapping to understand how we can gain more distance using the square shoes. And we're using the Patriot system by Ernest Sports to validate the distance gains. Take a few swings, boom, just to get warmed up. So 145 seems to be my benchmark. Let's take a few swings, try a different lacing patterns. All right, so what I've done here is I've given myself a very stiff trail side by lacing it all the way to the top and by uh, tying my uh, lead side just in midfoot and very tight, keeping the pressure on the ball, allowing my ankle to act as the propulsion system and shock absorber. So I'm gonna give that a shot too. Keep my eyes at about 145. Distance, 154 yards. 154 right off the get-go. So uh, we'll show you this trace information shortly. Because I'm a lateral player, what I'm looking for is uh, speed laterally. So a good speed for me typically is about 350. This is very much a lateral trace. And my vertical forces are still around 1.5, which is too average. But I'm going to reach a peak velocity of 586. It's a good example of how you could use your uh, body track and vertical forces and lateral speed and heel to toe speed and the trace information to determine if the square shoes are benefiting the golfer. And I think they are here. This is uh, really a good example. Thanks.